24-7. Oh, yeah. With Eitan G. In the house, baby, in the house. This is a special, special emergency edition of Lenny Sullivan Live. And you know why? You know why, G? Tell me why. <laughs> Tell got, me why. Because <laughs> I've gotten a million emails. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Well, then this video, this live stream should show everybody that currently we are okay. Yes. And, and it is very difficult. Very difficult time. What's difficult, my friend? Tell me. We're at war. War is not. But it wouldn't be the first war we were in. Yeah. It's not the first war, but hopefully. It feels different, though, doesn't it? Oh, it's uh, it's it's really weird. You know, Shabbat morning, Simcha Torah. Mm. Wake up 630 in the morning. Boom, boom, boom. Hearing booms everywhere. Mm. Hearing the Iron Dome doing its job. And uh, and then we went to shul, you know, go to synagogue. Sure. Simple store. That's what you do. Around. When bombs are around. You go sirens to going on. Sure. Sirens. Supposed to go to the the uh, the room. Supposed to go to the, you know. So we had to. We went fast. Didn't Dolly. you uh, write a song about the sealed room? Steel, yes, Scenes I from did. a sealed room. Scenes from a sealed Here room. Here we go. We're doing it again. Nothing's yeah. changed. Well, unfortunately, not. But. Nothing's changed because we have lousy leaders. But yeah, continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> was sorry. that was that a political? No, I don't do you? politics. No. <laughs> okay. I don't just know. just checking. I, I just I you know me, Lenny, a long time. I'm the guy that likes to get things done. It, when we do a gig, when we're traveling, we're at a hotel. Logistics, luggage, legit thing. There's a way to get things done. Logistics. And for for the past, I don't know, twenty years or so, things have not gotten done. No, it's true. And that's what's frustrating. Okay. It's yeah. not conspiratorial. <laughs> it's not anything. It things have not gotten done. And so here we are in the Beit Shemesh Four Corners Project Studio with Rock for Israel. Yeah. With King of Schlock mm -hmm. with the Four Corners Project at ORG. And we are here to tell everybody stay calm, Davin, pray, oh, do some praying. Pray, get close to God. Yes. Edward is getting prayed for Israel. That's we gotta, right. Uh, look, for, for you guys here in Israel, we there are things to do. There's helping each other out. There's volunteering. Tons there's militaries. Yes. All that. The Jews coming together all over yes. the world. <clears throat> for those outside of Israel, they're not able to be here. They're doing other stuff, whether it's supporting uh, with money or goods or logistics getting things over here. So all the Jews no matter what denomination are coming together right now, all together. And it's terrible. What bothers me the most is that we come together for this kind of stuff. And I hate it because we should also more be coming together when it's good times. Yes. That's the best. But for now, I'll take what we can get, hopefully. And, you know, for those, you guys uh, help get me here with six full suitcases and luggages for people uh, of good and, and stuff like that bringing stuff for soldiers. that's it because i don't have a regular job you and i haven't been touring in a minute i got a little time on my hands yes right now is not exactly a touring time although no. i would like to have hoped it was right so this is about getting things done things needed to get over here i had the opportunity to get over here i got over here done some people don't have that same uh, uh opportunity that's fine that's fine Everybody can help out. And I'll tell you something. The easiest thing to do is to pray. Jewish, not Jewish. Say the Psalms. The reason we say Psalms, Lenny, to heal him. Yeah. Is because it just gets you in the mindset of, of uh, uh, positive energy, of God helping us out, of, of coming together. That's what these Psalms do. And that's what it's all about. You could do it by yourself in your own little room. But even more powerful is when people come together and bring that energy together and say those psalms. They get in a a, a positive headspace. And it calms the soul. It, it calms soothes the soul. the soul, baby. Yes. Soothes the soul. Things that we need. We need to sanctify. And it's it's the easiest thing to do. We need to testify. And, you know, we just said here on Rosh Hashanah we have teshuva, repentance. Yes. Which, by the way, is often misdefined. Really, it just means to return. To come back, come back. and then uh, chuat fila prayers, right? And you could do prayers. It doesn't have to be the the formal thing that if from the sitter. If you don't know it, if you know it, great. If you don't know it, make it up. The good Lord hears it all. You're bringing positive energy that wasn't there before. And tzedakah. People think tzedakah. Charity. People think tzedakah is money. 
Oh, I don't have money. I don't services. It's not your the most valuable thing more than money that you can give is time. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Because giving time is like your your giving of yourself. You are giving money. Time is money. Okay. No. <laughs> it's a mess. Sorry. It, the reason why time F is the most valuable point. is because money can be repaid. Time can never be given back. That's true. So when you donate your time, it's even more valuable than even money itself. So when tell, someone tells you to watch a bad movie, they are taking time away taking from time you. Taking time away. Never. Give so back. you can use your time. So all three of these things, bring it out in the world, bring it out of yourself and into the world. Every little bit helps. That's it. Thank you, G. That That's was very it. look bringing people, people together. Kenny Friedman, glad to see G back in the prime time with the legend Lenny <laughs> Kazak, Kenny Lowenstein, the best duo uh, ever. Guys, I just landed like two hours ago, which is why he's White. totally on fumes, and I'm the one that seems like I need it now. <laughs> but, but the G is is all ready to go. He has hit Israel running. Anyway, yeah, I don't even so, know where I'm going for Shabbos yet. I don't even those, know where I'm staying tonight. I have options, but I it's I haven't. Locked it down. There are things that got to get done. No sleeping in the car now. You for sure. No, 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 I'm up. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We have Jolt Cola in Israel. <laughs> Do they really? I don't know. I'm asking. They have a lot of things. Now nah, I don't need. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need that stuff. Oh, Gadalia from Australia. Really enjoying the chizuk. Spread guys. the Keep word, brother, up. guys. We got to spread the word. I'm your strong high, baby. That's it. We have That's the song. Everything we've sung about Lenny, you and I, for for decades. It's about bringing the Jewish people together. It's about unity. It's about, it's about you know, it, it, we, we got to not have division. And it's amazing. You know, a month ago, everybody here in Israel, the justice and the judges and the government and, 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 and left wing and right wing and orthodox and not orthodox, the whole thing. And now in a minute, in a minute, in a day, it all turned over. Now it's none of that. It's really and now it's, it's, it's so crazy. Arlene writes, so glad you're safe. Hopefully your family and friends are safe. Yes. Amen. Well, unfortunately, Amen. we do know some people that were that they lost their loved ones. Yeah. We, yeah we, it's we, happening. We know three people already who uh who lost uh children. It's son in law son in law you know, not it's not terrible. Good. Uh and it's we're all sad, we're all traumatized a little bit, you know. Because Have they given a reason, Lenny, why why they just haven't Flattened it, carpet bombed it. Yeah, I think that what they're doing is they're planning right now. They're in the planning stage. What they want to do, well, I, I don't really know what's going on, by the way. So let me preface that. But what I think is happening is that they are doing the the infrastructure work to make it that when the soldiers get in, it'll be the safe, the safest possible outcome for them. Right. So what I'm proposing is we just drop like four good bombs. And just flatten it, and yeah. then our boys don't even have to go in. Done. Yeah, I, I, that has been thought about by a lot of people. I don't know what Bibi Netanyahu. Am I, am I wrong? Yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong in terms of what it would do. It would certainly make the uh, it would save a lot of money. It would make it unnecessary for the boys to go in. I'm saying that's the whole point. But you know, they other people would say that life is important on both sides, and you have to, you know. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know, so you don't want to. Schlockrock over the years <laughs> has never been political. I've never been political. I don't take this is not sides. politics. This is about but protecting on the other hand, our children. I have written. We won't give this land away. Yes. And we won't. And the problem was this all started from 2005 when we did. It give started this land long away. before that. But that was a 2005. A the, the, the hit not cut or the disengagement where we took the 10 settlements or whatever, how many settlements there were, and the people, we even moved the graves. I mean, it's crazy what we did. They were very, we ruined people's lives. Not we, but they, the administration ruined people's lives yeah. they, who were living. And they're still. They were very happy to live in that area. Still. What that did was that made Stay Road the border. Yeah. It, it eliminated the border. It made they wrote the border. Oh, yes. So Gedalia writes, Tzedakah can also be chesed and ahavat Yisrael, loved of each Jew. Just be kind to each other. When we are united, we cannot be broken. It's true, Gedalia. And chesed and Avis Yisrael, loving it, is giving of yourself. It falls under the rubric of tzedakah 
and time and money. It's all these variables under the umbrella, the umbrella of tzedakah. You're 100% right. All these things. Some people say, I can't give money. Great. Do this other stuff. So easy to do. It takes a second, sometimes even just a phone call to cheer somebody up or flying 10,000 miles from Los Angeles just to did. just put a smile on some people's faces. That's right. right? That That is tzedakah. Yes. That's and the Lord looks favorably upon it. Yep. And right now we have to do good things. That's it. I have to do good things. That's and then, it. you know, um, so that's what's going on right now. So we, the question is, is it safe in Israel? The answer is yes, it is safe in Israel. Yeah. But you got to follow the rules, which means you can't go. I'm not a good rules guy. I know you're not for rules, but when that siren Safety, goes yes. off, siren goes off, you got to pay attention to it. Yeah, for sure. Because there are missiles falling uh, every once in a while. It has gotten less and less it's and less. It's raining missiles. And... <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, and it ha- it is getting better, though. It is getting better. And um, you have to believe it's getting better. It's getting better all the time. <laughs> she is rolling. He is rolling, everybody. Rolling, rolling, rolling. He's on a roll. <laughs> Was it over? What? Okay. Yeah. So that's the scoop. Now, uh, we have a phone call coming in. No, no, we don't. I'm just... <laughs> There is a way to do that, by the oh, way. Oh, is there? I, I never heard that. It's, I'm figuring it out because you have a board here and you can connect it to your phone and actually take calls. Whoa, we got to yeah. do that at some point. Caller, you're on the air. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chico Asuela. Baseball been very, very good to me. Uh, it's Saturday good to be back. Lane. Saturday I wish Night it was Live. under better circumstances. You know, it's like the 40th or the 40th anniversary of Saturday Night Live. 83? Was 83 the first time Saturday Night Live came out? No, it was earlier. It had to be earlier, right? I don't know. Whatever it is. I anyway, tell you. Ah, oh, Susan, it's good to see you and hear your voice. I'm glad you are safe. Hugs from your nice... Form- well, I don't want to say what you wrote. An old group. Formerly middle-aged, but now old groupie. You're not old, Susan. You're young. We are all young. We are all young. We are young. Heartache to heartache. I knew, you, I knew you were going... No promise, no demand. Love is a battlefield. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, drive man. time. It's like morning. We never go on in the morning. We're always going on in, in the evening. That's right. Now in LA, it's they're waking up in LA. It's a quarter to seven in the morning, correct? That's know. right. It is a quarter to seven in the morning in LA, quarter to ten in New York. You don't have the five clocks lined up <laughs> in Australia, it's midnight. It's After midnight, midnight. Dahlia is writing for to us. It's midnight, and um, here in Israel, a quarter to five in the afternoon. We are going on because we want to tell everybody: you got to stay strong. You got to get close to God. You got to believe. You got to don't worry. Worrying it doesn't help. It doesn't help. No, you got to be smart. You got to be cautious. You got to be safe. Right. But the fear—that's not what God wants. We don't want fear. No fear. No fear. Smart. Uh, aware. It's a very, yeah, it's, there's a lot of look. I'll tell you, on the plane, you, you felt great energy. Jews were very proud to be on the plane coming back. There was great energy. I was talking to a lot of people in the back. It was it was party time. It reminded me when I came here in 91 for the Gulf War. Just gathering, talking, sharing, meeting one another. Right. And then right when you walk off the plane, I'm walking off the plane. Thank you very much for the flight. Right in front of me is a woman just lost it, crying her eyes out, hugging her loved one. And it broke me. Mm. It broke me. There were people on the plane. You know, why are you going back? Oh, my my uh, um, the guy in my thing, he got killed. And this one guy, everyone in the back, we're all talking. This one. So there was a lot of. But. The strength, the inner fortitude, fortitude, yes, that these guys have, that that the Jewish people have, is is an unbelievable thing, and it's not something you can really describe. It is a juggling act that we do, an emotional roller coaster where we deal with death and uh, um, horrific things, and simultaneously have the 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 the, the, the wherewithal. The, the fortitude right to to continue on and and live and 
mourn, but at the same time, um, you know, be a part of everything. It's, but it's, right now, we have to win. We have to win this war. We have to win this war. We got to win this race, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to win this war we have to because uh well, we remember lenny ultimately the winning or losing the lives and deaths it's you know in the hands of god there yeah things we that just, we can control we just passed and who we will cannot. live and who will die we just passed that yeah and it's terrible it's me it's a tough really tough concept how do we not fear and it's fear. There's a difference between fear and I don't know what's the opposite of fear. If you believe in a God, then you know that in the end, everything will work out great. It doesn't mean it's going to suck while you're going through it. But the fear, fear is when you're debilitated, when you're, when you, you lose control. When you feel like curling up in a ball. Yeah. When you're going it, to sleep. Right. That's fear. And that is problematic, but you can be despondent. You can be upset. You can be angry, but it's, it's the fear. That's what debilitates you. And that's the hard part. And it's something everybody has to work on. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, last Tuesday night, when I was uh, saying goodbye to my friends at the kibitz room, musicians and everything yeah, like that. Yeah. I love you. Big hugs and everything like that. I had for the past, once I booked the flight, a little knot in my stomach, a little nervousness. Now, Lenny, the nervousness that I had coming wasn't a nervousness like, uh, it was the, we, you and I have done many, many shows, a billion shows. And many traveling, a lot of traveling. But the shows specifically, there are some shows that we've done maybe for a special audience or a large audience or something unique about the show, some of the TV shows, where before the show, I had nerves. I had that same feeling. Now, I knew, but that's butterflies, uh, butterflies. And I knew that once they call my name and we get on stage, I'm going to rock. I'm going to do it. But that leading up to that point, there was nerves. Right. Right. So I'm here now. And I can tell you there there have been when I'm in the car and relaxed, I'm on full alert. Every sense I'm looking around monitoring. But I am uh, uh, I'm not fearful. I'm aware. And yes, that's, that's the key. A am I nervous? Yes. The short answer is yes. I am nervous and it's part, but I think that's normal. But I also know much like our shows that I'm going to get on stage. I'm going to get, I'm going to do what I got to do and I'm going to do it. And that's it. It's true. Now I just want to, I just want to break in here a little uh, off topic. Breaking Re news. Rabbi Daniel Wasserman, a great friend of ours. Go ahead. Lives now in Israel, made Aliyah. Excellent. Corrected me because I had said settlements when we talked about the hit not cut, the disengagement. He says it's not settlements, it's communities, villages, and towns. The word settlements, whatever it used to mean, notwithstanding, is a legit is a delegitimizing pejorative, which should not be used. I agree with you. And I agree with you. It's, it's not then correct yourself before I, you wreck yourself. <laughs> I correct myself and I stand corrected. Oh. So I say that hit not good going back to 2005 set the stage for this 18 years later. Although, of course, a lot of things happened in between. In the meantime, though, we've got a lot of our boys about to go in. Yeah. Girls, too, about to go in. Um and we are praying for them. We're hoping they're all going to be protected. God should protect them. Everybody Amen. should come back safe. Amen. And we should get the job done. Get the job done. This has been going on. I don't know what the lingering. job is because it's, it's like athlete's foot. It told keeps coming me what back. The job is. Nobody has told me what the job is. You think you know, you know what, what the, the job, job is? is? Vanquish our enemies. Yes. That's it. Yes. It's win. It's not hard to do. It's true. But then politics and money and all uh, news cycles, everything sets in and changes the trajectory. And it's as if Jewish lives are expendable and they're not. And I'm sick and tired of it. And that's it. Jewish lives are not expendable. Not at all. That's true. So we're coming to the end of our show. Oh, what a wonderful show it's been. Different type of a show. Yes. Next show, of course, will be with music. Oh, touch that keyboard. You know, um, and maybe we'll get you on one more time, G, before you head back to L.A. I don't even know when that is, by the way. That's right. 
open-ended ticket. It's not open-ended. It's booked for about 11 or 12 days, but I probably have to be back in LA a little bit earlier. And me coming here, really, my my own mission was just get this stuff here so I could leave after Shabbos and I will have done my job. But I will likely find things that I, where I'm needed. And if I'm needed, I'll, I'm here. And if I see that I'm just doing nothing, uh, then I'll head back. Unfortunately, I'm not able to clean guns here. I'm not able to do army stuff. Uh, I'm not able to do shmira or any of this stuff to to really help out. But I'm here. I'm uh, capable. I'm able, and I can help out. All right, and I'm sure you're going to do that, of course, because that's what you Whatever do. Whatever it takes, I'll go In to Tanji. people's houses and just cheer people up. All right, everybody. I'm like Patch Adams. <laughs> We have brought up so many references on this show. Make a list of all those references and email it. Oh, bro, email I'm running me. on fumes. My head is not even clear anymore. Dude. So all I got to tell everybody is, Davin, that means pray. Yes. Protect our children who are on the front and protect all of us who are not on the front. And do good things for one another. Get yes. people together to good do deeds. good stuff. I'm telling you, the Lord looks favorably upon this. It helps out. It helps out. It helps out. After all this is over, you're going to hear a bazillion miracles that happened uh, one after the other. Uh, simultaneously, you'll probably also hear a million horrific things that happened as well. So we're hopeful that we will have the minimal the less, the none, Correct. horrific things, and the maximum, the full impact of the amazing things, the good things, the miracles, where the hand of God is visible every single minute. Right. And I want to thank our associate producer, Judy Hertzfeld, from across the pond in, in uh, Clifton, New Jersey. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. We'll see you. Well, it's Thursday night. Have a great Parshat Beret Sheet. Hope to see you next Monday. We'll see you in two and two. For Lenny Solomon Live Show 278 next week. Keep on schlocking. See you soon. Lenny Solomon.